Hi, this is Dr. Ock again from Mind's Eye Models. Today we're going to take a look at preparing and studying uh, stereoisomers uh, R and S. In chemistry, molecules are generically drawn with a central carbon having four bonds and to be a stereocenter or a chiral center, that carbon needs to have four different groups on it. For today's discussion, it doesn't really matter what they are in terms of prioritizing. I really want to focus on mirror images. As you can see in this molecule that we have four different things on that carbon, you could have also drawn this carbon a second way, its mirror image, with the same four groups, but you'll see that this two-dimensional representation of that molecule doesn't do justice to the fact that they are not the same. They are in fact different because the molecule is not flat like the piece of paper, it's shaped like a tetrahedron. So today we're going to use our model kit to show you this. I'm going to build two tetrahedral centers using the metal clusters that come with our kits where I'm going to have four different bonds on each of the carbons and just for just for demonstration purposes I'm going to put a uh, a carbon to nitrogen a carbon to oxygen a carbon to hydrogen and then a carbon to carbon bond. As you can see, we have four different substituents on that carbon. Now, I'm just going to line it up this way so that you can see that I'm going to build the same thing, but now the mirror image. I'm going to start with the blue, which is the nitrogen, and then I'm going to add an oxygen, and then in the back I'm going to put a carbon to hydrogen bond and then lastly I'm going to put the carbon to carbon bond on the top the same way it is on the other. Again you can see that they each have the same four groups but now I'll show you that these are not the same molecule. Let me get rid of the diagram underneath. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to rotate these molecules so that two of the substituents are going to overlap with each other. In this case the blue of nitrogen to hydrogen and the black of carbon to carbon are now the same but you can see that the black and red bonds are reversed. If I take those and make them the same you can see now that the others are reversed. In organic chemistry, these mirror images are not really equivalent. They are in, in, in many properties and, and other regards, but they rotate light differently. One will rotate light to the right and one will rotate it to the left, giving you the R and S configurations for stereoisomers. We hope that this helps in your studies and that you can more easily figure out mirror images and stereoisomers and we look forward to helping you more in the future. Thank you.